Hawaii tonight. That is where our Eric Brait is competing in this year's Ironman World Championship. He finished his swim and his bike, and he is now running his marathon. In fact, LLS just sent us this photo as Eric started his run. Our Ryan Korsgaard live in Kona tonight with more on his journey. Hi, Ryan. Four time Ironman Hawaii. Finish. Hey, Andy, I'll tell you what, we saw him about an hour ago. He's doing well. You mentioned he's out on the run right now. He said that that bike was tough. That's not a surprise. It's in the lava fields. But I want to show you where we are right now. This is where Eric wants to be. This is the finish line. You can see one person after another. These are really fast people finishing at about 10 hours. But Eric hopes to be here in just a few more hours here tonight. For some, the Ironman World Championship will take up to 17 hours. How long it takes for each competitor depends on the grueling conditions on this, the big island of Hawaii. It's a 140.6 mile race. The wind, waves, and heat take their toll. Meteorologist Eric Brait started with a weather forecast. Uh, the conditions today, warm, kind of humid, but nothing I'm not used to, training in Houston. Eric started the very long 2.4 mile swim with the rest of the male age group competitors. The swim is just half a mile shy of the running loop at Memorial Park. The swim took him an hour and 16 minutes, possibly one of his best. After a quick transition from the swim to bike on the pier in Kona, he was off for a 112 mile bike race. Wendy Hammerman Kilburn of Houston was here cheering for the athletes. This place has got to be the most electric place on earth right now. This is kind of like Action Alley here in Kona. You've got cyclists that are going down the hill. You've got all of these people out and then you have more cyclists headed up the hill before they make a turn for a very long ride. When you're in those areas where there's not a lot of crowd support, it's tough. Mentally, it can be very challenging. You just have to kind of stay focused on what you're doing. His focus, helping end blood cancers. From the bike, it's on to a 26.2 mile run. The course will close at midnight in Kona. That's 5 o'clock in the morning in Houston. A very long day, no matter the time zone. If I can do this, anybody can do this. What it takes is time, it takes commitment, and it just takes the will to get it done. Brian Reynolds, Michigan, USA. Now we're back live at the finish line of the Ironman World Championship in Kona. One person after another coming through that chute. The people you're watching right now, including that gentleman, I, they are all finishing in about 10 hours. And that is an amazing feat. Now, we checked. Eric we expect will probably come across the finish line in the next four hours or so. It's really impossible to predict. But at his current pace, that's what we believe will happen. So we are going to be here tonight, all night, watching him. Again, this will continue until very early tomorrow morning in Houston. We'll have an update tomorrow morning. We hope you will join us then. We're live in Kona, Hawaii tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News. And Houston.